All right, guys, we're almost there. We're, we can now add runs, we can view them, we can filter them. So now we need to be able to edit them. All right, so let's go to our index file and I'm gonna copy the entire ad page. Okay, so from this div with the data role of page and ID of ad all the way down to its ending div. I'm gonna copy it and then we're gonna paste it underneath. Okay, and then the first thing we need to do, let's change this comment change the ID okay we're gonna change this here this text to edit run and this is good okay we'll change the ID here to edit miles and then change this one to edit date Okay, submit, this, this should be submit edit. And I think that's it. Let's change the word submit to update. And that should be good for now. Okay, so we'll save that. All right, and then what we wanna do is have this link go to the edit page. All right, so this is actually all being generated in our JavaScript, okay? This isn't in the HTML page here, it's in JavaScript in the show runs function. Okay, so we have the edit link here. We already have it going to edit. Let's see what happens with that. Edit, all right, so it goes to the page, but we have nothing here. So we need to figure out how to get uh, the, the values that we clicked, how to get that in here, how to get the miles and the date. All right, and the way that we're going to do that is through data attributes. Okay, that, and we've been working with data attributes through this whole series. All right, so let's find the the edit link and go after the href. And first of all, give it an ID of edit link. Okay, um, so the data attributes. We'll have data miles, and that's going to be set. We got to concatenate the um, the runs value, so we want to do plus plus runs i and miles. That should be in quotes. Whoops. Okay, so that'll that's going to give whatever link we click that uh, miles value is going to be sent through this attribute data miles. I'm going to do the same thing with the date. So I'm actually going to just copy this and then change this to date and this. All right. And I think that's good for edit. So now we need to add the JavaScript. Okay, so save this. Well, I mean, I, that was JavaScript, but it was in an HTML string. So we need to create another handler for the edit. Okay, we'll call this the edit handler. And we want when submit edit is clicked or tapped, we want to run edit run. Okay, and we'll create that down here. Okay. Now a lot of this is gonna be similar to edit run, so I'm actually gonna copy this and then we'll change it. All right. Now before we go and mess with edit run, um, there's something we need to do. We need to set the current uh, miles and date values. And what I mean by current is the one we click on. So on our home page, if we click on this edit link, we need this 
to be the current date and this to be the current distance. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to store two more variables uh, in our local storage for current date and current miles. And we want this to happen whenever an edit button is clicked. So we're going to add another handler up here. Let me just copy this. Okay, so we'll call this set current handler. And we want it to happen whenever an edit link is clicked. So um, what we want to do is say stats. And we're going to do this a little different. We're going to set the parent, which is stats, which is the UL. And then we're going to say on tap. And then we're going to pass in a second parameter of the actual element, the link element. So it'll be edit link. And then we want to run set current, which will create. All right, so edit links clicked, set current's going to run. So I'm going to put that down at the bottom. Okay, and this is just going to set the current clicked, um, set the current clicked miles and date. Okay, set current, and what we want to do is set, we'll just say set ls items, set local storage items. So local storage dot set item. Okay, the first one we'll do is going to be called current miles. Okay, and then to set it, we're going to say this, meaning the link that's clicked, dot data. And we're going to pass in the miles, data miles. Okay, and we'll do the same thing with the date. This will be current date. Date. All right, and then we want to insert those in the form, in the edit form. Okay, so we need the input edit miles. Okay, this here is referring to, on the edit page, it's referring to this input here. Okay, we want to insert the current miles into this input field. Okay, so edit miles dot val, and we're going to set val to uh, local storage dot get item current miles. Okay, we'll do the same thing for the date. Date. All right, so let's see if that works, if it fills in the form. I'm going to reload and let's click this first one. And there we go. Four and then the date. This one has five. Let's click that. Five. All right, good. So when we click update, if we change this, click update, it's going to call edit run, which we need to complete. Now in here, we're also going to have to look at current miles and current date. So we need to do that first. We'll say get current data. Okay, so current miles will set to local storage dot get item current miles okay 
update. Okay, so now that we have that, um, we want to get the runs object. Actually, we can leave this here. All right, so we have the current miles, current date. We're also getting the, the form values that we submit, okay, into miles and date. And then we're going to create the object. Uh, but I'm going to call this update run. All right, and the date is going to be date, which is coming from the input. Miles is, again, coming from the input. And we're parsing it to a float. And then after that, actually, you know what, before we go any further with that, we need to first delete um, the old values for the current miles and date for the miles and date. All right, that we're actually updating. So we're going to have to loop through this. So what I'm going to do is move this and this. I'm going to move that down here. Um, what do I want this? Yeah, I'm going to move this down here. And then here, okay, we're going to loop through all of uh, all of our runs, all the current runs. Loop through runs. All right, so for So in this for loop, we're going to say variable i is equal to 0. Um, and then we're going to say if i is less than runs dot length and then i plus plus. And then inside here we're going to have an if statement. Okay, and we're going to say if runs i actually it's runs i dot miles is equal to current miles and runs i dot date is equal to current date so we're comparing we're going we're looping through them all and then we're saying hey if this matches the current miles and the current date then we need to remove this okay because we're going to put it back down here with the new values and I hope I'm explaining that um, I hope you can understand that it's a little tough for me to explain exactly what's going on here all right so to do that to take it out we're going to use the splice method so we're going to say runs dot splice and then we need a position which is going to be I okay because that's the iteration and we want to we want to take one out okay and then let's see we need to put it back into local storage as a string so under this under the if we're going to say local storage dot set item runs okay and then we need to stringify this remember we can only store strings stringify runs okay now that's gonna put it back in alright so essentially we're getting our current values we're looping through if if the loop iteration matches the current values we're gonna take it out and then put it back in okay and then down here we're gonna get the new values from the form put them in an update run object and then we want to push update run okay so we're just adding it on to our object and then we're going to alert run updated and I think that's it okay and stringify and that should do it so let's try it out okay let's say we want to edit this um, We'll change the date to the seventh. Change this to two. Okay, so something went wrong there. Uh, Q 
can't read property length of undefined. And where was that? 75. Okay, so runs dot length. Um, oh, okay. Runs isn't defined yet up here. We need to move this. We need to move this up. All right, let's try it again. So edit, we'll change this to two, seven, run updated. And okay, so something went wrong here. Okay, di distance is null. Let me take a look here. All right, so we have add miles here for our value, and that's not what we want. We need edit miles and edit date. We just search for add. So that should fix it. Okay, let's try that. So let's edit this messed up one say three run updated all right so the values are right here but we also still have this well let's try it let's just clear our local storage clear everything all right so we'll add a run we'll add one more okay so now let's edit the 10 10 run to 3 just change that to three. Update. Ten ten is now three. All right. Let's try and edit the date. Change it to ten six. Change this to two. All right. So that's working great. Um, the last thing we need to do is our delete function to delete individual runs and also the clear total mileage. All right. And we'll do that in the next section.